I think this Healthy Waterways workshop is really about promoting the riparian restoration and having healthy waterways on your farm and the benefits that that can bring for not just biodiversity but also production. The landholders here have implemented a few different projects where they've, they've fenced out their creeks to exclude stock, they've done some revegetation works, they've really let the vegetation and ground cover come up which is really important for preventing those sediments and pathogens and nutrients from entering the waterways. We bought this property about seven years ago now and because we'd worked closely with LLS before on fencing off creeks and rivers in our previous property, a year later we had it all fenced off and done it. We put a complete new reticulated water system through the place. We fenced off all of the creeks and, and replanted all the creeks. We basically worked with the LLS. They came up with a planting list because they knew the species would grow around here. We then worked with a local native nursery. We want to match the carrying capacity, the stock rate to the carrying capacity of the property. So we don't overgraze or do things like that. So from an animal health point of view, the bit of research that's been done in this space shows that livestock that have access to high quality water will tend to drink more, they'll eat more, and that then flows into improved livestock performance. And we see that through weight gain. And the other big thing with improved water quality is it also reduces the risk of animal health issues um, popping up. You don't necessarily have to go and outlay a lot of money. It can just be through managing your grazing, managing your, your stocking rate and stocking pressure according to seasonal conditions so that you can maintain ground cover. The management things, they don't really cost anything, but they can certainly start to make improvements into water quality, into the health of your farm dams. This property is in the eastern end of the Southern Highlands, very fertile, um, basalt and shale country. What we're facing up here is a extensively cleared landscape that's falling apart, partly just because it is heavily cleared. So getting these areas fenced off provides linkages and that really helps increase stability in those ecosystems. If we looked at this property from above before these works were done, you would have seen water courses that would look more like drains or ditches. There was very little or no riparian vegetation. But now that we've got those streams fenced out and at least partially revegetated, some through planting, some through natural regeneration, water quality is improved and the system is now more connected. This kind of work has benefits for farming. It has benefits for downstream neighbours and users of that water. It has significant benefits for biodiversity. It can add value to the property. I'd like to see extensive riparian conservation and reconnection works. So many of our watercourses, particularly in the centre of the highlands, are in an extremely poor condition. But we can, with collaboration amongst landowners and different arms of government and the community, fence those areas out at an appropriate width, manage the weeds, conserve the vegetation that's left, and replant what we need to to make those vibrant and robust ecosystems. Local land services are always there um, to provide advice to landholders. And I think this workshop is really good just to show landholders what a system can look like if you put, put the work in. And I think if it can just give some landholders some inspiration to implement something like this on their property. What it's done, it's given a real buffer to the entire place. It's created new zones for animals to travel up and down, safe areas. So it's really changed the nature of the place. It's a far more pleasant place to be. We want to work with nature rather than against to so leave the land in better state than we found it. That's our goal.